President Chagulani sent a Robert Bobby Wine's historical speech on Kabaka Ronald Mwenda Mutebi's life conditions. Kabaka is for all of us. No one should say he owns him. We must fight for him. So, once again, breaking down what people power is. And indeed, it's about the power of the people. It's about servant leadership. It's about we, the leaders, being servants and the people being the true masters. It's, it means being accountable in a deed, not just in, in work. It means being answerable. It does not necessarily mean that because you are the masters and we are your servants, that you should oh, do no, you you the the No, please don't abuse that. The true master is there that is you in very delicate position. But we call upon you to respect them but not fear them. Thank you, Madam Teacher. I want to welcome our comrade Waiswa, he's just been in America, now a consultant in diplomacy. So he may have understood very well in Uganda. We welcome you, sir, and we hope to benefit from your new expertise. Uh, you all have seen the trade on our former office now, the National Unity School. Uh, the National Unity Platform School of Leadership. This morning, the military and police raided our premises in Kamocha, broke uh, the doors, took whatever they took. We are yet to go and uh, establish what exactly they took. They also went away with some of our comrades. We are going to establish and we will be communicating to you. I wanted to also talk about the taxes. <laughs> He wants to disempower you to the point of having to be out from him. <laughs> The business community. Museveni will not give you any solution. Get used to it. The solution is to rise up and pick the dictator out of power so we can all free Your problems are not distant from the teachers, the medical workers, and all other environments. While I call upon the population to join you so that we liberate you and by extension we liberate ourselves, I'm calling upon you also to know the solution. The solution is protesting because dictatorships the world over will only heed to protests. They will not heed to peaceful, they will not heed to common sense because they have no regard for common sense whatsoever. Let us join hands and remove the dictator once and for all. If you are the servant leader, you will be respected. You're so important to the economy. But Museveni will not respect that until he's forced to respect that. I want to remind you of our ongoing membership registration nationwide. Please be part of it. Get registered because the National Unity Platform is a political party. We, as I've said many times, are not a political party per se. No, we are not. We are people power. We are a political party. Unfortunately, if you're from Kabara, police, we never have a city carrying with Kami Navako and Amaji. Maybe they would put anything. You saw how FDC behaved. You saw how UPC behaved. 
Well, and now you see how Jema is behaving. Well, now, Kataba Maje Kuebali, Shofrum Kabaga, Police Minabela Basili Karimeka. But we have a political party. We are a group of Ugandans that have a political party. The agenda is much bigger than a political party. But this is that we have. This political party that we want out of people power should be well organized and prepared to take leadership of this country. We are Democrats. We believe in democracy. And we know that when the dictator falls, and I'm saying when, not if, because we know the dictator will fall sooner than later. So when the dictator falls, we shall still go to the people. And the people will have to elect us. We should prepare and have all those boxes ticked so that by the time we go to the people, we are worthy our name. We are the option that we've been saying we are. So please get involved, especially you, the leaders. We know that the membership cards we produce are not anywhere near satisfaction. We shall do our part as we request you, the leaders, to do your part. I also want to say a word about the sanctions that you saw in the media. For a long time, regime propagandists were calling me a super like person because I'm a music star, because I'm an artist, and because I look good. Okay, you know you say that? So they say that I'm wasting time together with my colleagues traveling the world. Every time I go to the West, you got a tough man, or man. Hard up. Obi Wan is always the player. Oh, you go. Guys, we see what your mouth cannot talk. You see. But that on the side, and here to once again report to you that every time you see anything in Uganda, I am not going. I am going to destroy the seven. Every time I leave the country, I am going to deconstruct the lies that are being told about Uganda by Museven. Museven spends billions of taxpayers' money. Yeah. Very many organization companies that are hired to lies on behalf of you, on behalf of me, to pay so the picture about the situation in Uganda, lie to the international community that all is well, that was seven in the beginning, but it is a lie, and it's because of that that the EU has billions of euros for seven, which is lost in corruption and governance. The United States alone gives for seven up to one billion US dollars. A billion, not one million. Money is in turn used to operate banners, to kill them, to corrupt them, to buy the opposition. And all that. We know who have a doubt for funds will not be able to rule over us. No. It is an agent of new colonialism. Because he said. There are questions where they are. So you must have two open questions. Yes, you had me right. So many questions. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are glad to report to you that our cries, your cries, are finally being listened to and responded to. For a long time, the West was only issuing statements. Oh yes, we disagree with the king of the people who come. Oh, we disagree with the with the uh, illegitimacy. Oh, we disagree with the disrespect or the democracy and the undermining of human rights. We were tired of statements, wanted action. Happy once again inform you that the speaker of parliament, that very brown lady you see. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Give it to her. Are you the one who to him? I'm glad to warn you that the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Mong, was sanctioned by the UK. Now, what do those sanctions mean? Those sanctions mean that number one, Anita Mong is blacklisted in the UK. Anita Mong is not allowed to travel to the UK. Anita Mong had the properties, he had the houses, the very expensive houses in the UK out of the money that she steals from the parliament. The money that you know that she steals. The money that every time we call her out, Museveni tries to protect her. But Museveni can protect her, but he cannot lie to the rest of the world. Anita Mong cannot enter the UK and all her properties are being confiscated. They're being frozen. 
and this extends to her relatives and family members. But our target is not just Anita Mo. Our target is Yoe in Kabuta No. 7. Our target is Mwos. Our target is Christopher Damolina. Our target is Nabanja. Our target is every thief around No. 7. And we shall get to you. I want you ladies and gentlemen to take credit for this. Don't give this credit to me. Because it's not just me. I'm just a representative. I go to these meetings, but everything I talk about, they have seen before because you have posted it on, on, on Facebook, because you have tweeted it on your Twitter accounts, on your X accounts, because it is on TikTok, because it's everywhere. So you might be a Gaddafi in your ghetto somewhere, thinking that your contribution ends in the ghetto. You are wrong. Your contribution goes as far as around the world. So don't stop. Continue exposing. Use your camera is such a powerful way that you understand. Use it. It is so helpful. Thank you very much. Uh, last but not least, I'll talk about the political prisoners. We are here with comrades from Mokolo, and they know that many people were abducted and are still missing. Notably, Comrade Kanata Muhammad, Sepija Judah, and many others are missing to death. We still pray for them, but we incessantly demand for their unconditional release. It's not just them. Many other people have gone missing. For example, our brother Masaba Fosin was abducted on the 17th. He missed for more than two weeks, and when he was show, when he was presented to court, they say he was charged with arson. He was arrested, he was abducted on the 17th. And then they said he bought a house on the 18th. What kind of nonsense is that? In the same way, Hussein Mumbia was also abducted, missing for a while, and then produced in court, and now they are detained in Ugungu prison in Uyikwe. I request all of you, especially the leaders, whenever you can, please visit them and all those other political prisoners wherever they are. We continue to demand for their unconditional release. We know that the regime is so ashamed of what they've done to them. They want to release them, but they want to release them in a clean way. Because even when they come out, even when they come out, we shall demand for justice for them. We shall demand for compensation from them, and they will get all that because they deserve it. Now, very finally, I want to welcome new members Welcome. I also want to welcome those that were once our members, including the leaders, the council. that went to Museven thinking Museven is going to save them. Now you know that Museven is no solution for you. Museven is no more powerful than the people. Many of you have reached out, they want to join us. I want to publicly say to you, you are welcome to rejoin us. But you don't rejoin us, rejoining us, to rejoin like an ordinary member. Get re clean, uh, cleans, afresh, learn, our values are fresh, learn what we are standing for are fresh, and then you will be a true member. But you don't come back with all the ranks that you went with. Kubanga Wagende, you rank has already contaminated. Very, very finally, I want to inform you that we shall soon resume our nationwide tour. So wherever you are, in every corner of Uganda, be ready to cheer. Move for God and my country. Before we have the answer, Mr. President, you will permit uh, the team that has been led by the Honorable Nambozi and characteristically, and we have uh, decided to appreciate. Uh, mm, uh, that is uh, Chagulani Center Mo, Robert Bodwan's president, message uh, to all Ugandans, wherever you are, for. 
change seeking forces it is your time it is your time it is today it's now that we fight for our country we fight for our future we fight for our generation we fight for the youngest generation we fight for our grand grand grandkids to enjoy this country the power of Africa it's you and me to fight for that it's you to do whatever it takes for them to be free it's you to do whatever you can to make our country free to make our country enjoyable to make our country great great again thank you so much President Chabrani Sentamu, Lubat Bubiwan, for that.